Welcome back. Um, today we're going to show you how we transformed our dining room and hallway space. It was quite cool. the task, but now that it's done it looks really great and we're both really happy with how it turned out. Yeah. Survived without any tears, maybe a little <laughs> blood, a few shocks. Yeah, but we live in my grandparents' house. Um, we've been here for about a year now, moved back home from Colorado, and we've been trying to go through room by room and kind of update and renovate the house, do what we can to make it look better. Um, and it's really brought me a lot of joy and happiness to be able to see this place come back to life. So really appreciate everything that this guy does for me, and hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye. So here is what it currently looks like. Would like to get a new door. Um, that one actually has a crack in the window. But my idea is that I want to hang a curtain rod here, a taller one, so that it kind of makes the room look a little bit larger. I want to get some greenery into the space and then I had an idea for the hallway that I wanted to put a circle mirror here so it currently kind of still looks like my grandparents live here. I really want to change out this light and hopefully in a couple weeks this whole dining space will be transformed picked up these curtain rods from Target. Um, I thought they looked super cool. They have this kind of dark bronzy color. In the store I was like, oh my god, okay, 88 inches. That's not too much taller than I am. <laughs> so it's totally gonna be fine. Had Cody put it up today and that is definitely less than 88 inches. So I went back to Target and picked up some curtain rods in the right size this time. Um, didn't find the same style of the one that I bought, but these will do and they are 48 inches to 84 inches. So good thing I measured or Cody measured this time so that we have the right size that we need. Problem. I then I thought, okay, well, I'll just kind of shove it in there like what you're doing now. Those are really shitty screws. Dun, da, da, da. Been waiting for this for a whole week. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Say goodbye to this ugly lie. See you never.
use is uh, metal stakes as a fulcrum and uh, wrap the cloth around the wire and uh, gently twist it and pull it until it opened and then uh, tried to close it back up as nicely as I could. Got a few minor scratches but shouldn't be able to tell once it's hanging. It's uh, always important to keep uh, leftover materials. So these were the screws that came with the light and the new screws that it came with We're both way too small. So we're gonna switch back in the old screws because they work fine, they're just not quite as pretty. And that'll keep the night light nice and tight back in the old uh, bracket that it was in. Never mind, bracket's stripped. So it turns out the bracket wasn't stripped, it was just the screws that were stripped. So I found some replacement screws that look to be exactly the same size, so hopefully let's get this working and we can get this light hung up. Alright, so we've got the bracket screwed in here. This little clear metal thing will uh, string the wires up through here, attach it to a uh, hot wire and the other one. Uh, we don't have a grounding wire because the house is very old. Um, maybe with the breach. Just uh, will be on the list sometime soon. Just gonna tighten up these screws and this should all come up into place like that. Oh my gosh, I did not realize how much changing the poles and the handles on these cabinets would make a difference. Um, and I'm so happy that we did it. This is the old night. Came up off of the beam, switched in the new clean, nice wires. And since we had uh, nowhere to screw in in the middle of the Koenig, you can't really screw into Koenig without it crumbling. So we uh, took a little white piece of wood, cut it to the right length and painted it white. And then we're gonna hang a little hook in the middle and we'll hang up our uh, new beautiful light. We ordered this super cool light from Etsy. It's a bamboo woven light. It's adjustable, which is super awesome. So you just pull these two things and you can change the shape of the light. I actually think I like it pretty round though. So I think we're gonna keep it kind of in this shape. I realized we forgot that piece. It kind of holds the lamp to the light, so. Gotta make sure it's on here so that everything works. But Cody had to disassemble everything, so now he's putting it back together. 
<laughs> Almost forgot to turn off the circuit breaker. So, tip number one. Turn off the circuit breaker so you don't shock yourself. Tip number two. Standing on the table. Don't recommend it, but it does the job. <laughs> and I flip the switch. This is the Etsy shop that we got the light from. Kind of just making some finishing tweaks to the light to make sure that it's hanging correctly. But it looks so good. <laughs> 